Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. And a lot of you right now are hitting the back button. Because you're like, what the hell is a 46-year-old doing playing with toys? <laughs> but nevertheless, I thought I'd share this old antique teddy bear with you all. Now, he's really not considered antique because I believe he was made in the 1920s or 1930s. But he's antique enough for me. And uh, I got him for Christmas. My mom asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And I said, I'd really like to have this teddy bear in my collection. And she laughed and she's like, you don't want like a new pair of shoes or a pocketbook or jewelry or perfume. And I'm like, no, I want a teddy bear. And she's like, oh my God, you are the biggest baby that ever lived. And I'm like, I am, I can't help it. I'm like Peter Pan. I refuse to grow up. <laughs> and so I saw this uh, bear and I saw him on eBay and I just begged her and pleaded with her, please, 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 can I have him? And she was like, go ahead and buy him and have a Merry Christmas. And so I am having a Merry, well, I had a Merry Christmas and now I'm having a, like a good time enjoying him and looking at him and checking him out because look at the workmanship on him. And I believe that he was made by a German manufacturer by the name of Joseph Petermann. And he called his bears Jopi bears, J-O-P-I bears. And that's what I think. Now, I could be wrong. He could be a, a Rudolf Haas bear or um, some other German maker. Again, if you know, please write it in the comments below. I am never an expert on any of the videos of the things I show you. I just know what I find on Google. And sometimes what you find on Google is incorrect. And then <laughs> you attribute things wrong. But nevertheless, I really think that he's a German product. Um, also... What I found out about these bears were they had what was known as Helvetic music boxes inside of their, their torsos. Now, this one does have the remnants of that music box inside. I could feel it, but it's broken in the center. And it was a bellows operated music box. So every time you squeeze, squeeze this tummy, it would uh, continue to play a tune. When you let go, it would stop playing the tune. And so as a child kept going like this and squeezing the bear's tummy, it would play a tune. And it's so sad that it's no longer working. And you can see, though, the indent um, indentation in his tummy. Look at that. From a child that long ago played with this and played it out. <laughs> played it so much that it just like wore out the music box and busted it. So uh, I thought you guys would find that really, really sweet and whimsical. Look at that little frowny mouth and that bat wing nose. I call these bat wing noses. You see how like the edges of the nose have a thread that trails down? So uh, that's another thing that Jopi bears uh, tend to have, these little bat wing noses. So that's why I think he's a Jopi bear. Again, I could be wrong. Also, the eyes look very Jopi. I don't know if you could see it. If you have a, a bunch of Jopi bears in your collection, you would recognize these type of eyes immediately. They have painted backs. They're hand blown. And uh, they're really luminous and pretty. And I love this bear's coat. It's like a dingy white right now. I mean, at one time, he was probably really, really white and beautiful. But uh, now it's a little dingy. Now, I do notice on the paw pads, there's some pink material. And these bears also were made in pastel pink colors. I've seen them before. And what happens is with these old bears that were painted and dyed, you know, the mohair was dyed pink, was that the mohair um, actually over years, the dye wears out from the atmosphere. So if you are in a location that has a lot of humidity or you place the bear in a lot of sunlight, the coat fades and you no longer see the color anymore. And uh, it's like the color is gone. But I have a feeling that this bear was once pink. And uh, now he's he's dingy white. He needs to be cleaned. If I cleaned him, he would, his coat would really gleam and become much more snow white. And uh, I think I'm going to leave him alone and just leave him as is because that's the way I got him. And I guess he wants to stay that way. He likes to be a little <laughs> dirt bag. Right, little Jopi bear? And uh, he's fully jointed. His head swivels. And his arms and legs move as well. And I just think he's such a sweetheart. So I wanted to share him with you guys. And if you're not a toy collector, you know, vintage or antique toy collector, you would probably find this video very, very boring and nonsensical. But for us toy collectors out there, we love seeing these old toys because we know that at one time, children loved and cherished these toys. Not to mention, they don't make toys like this anymore with quality in mind. Everything is mass produced and made so cheap. And uh, you don't see this sort of quality 
in anything that's made today. Um, it's really, really amazing to find these old toys, especially when they're not uh, busted or, or broken, except for the fact that his little musical box is broken. But he's pretty much intact. He's still going strong after all these years. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.